Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll take a look at Arrival. We've got some big news to share about the Arrival company. Now before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. So let's get started. Arrival has announced high voltage battery module assembly plant in Charlotte, New Caroline. Facilities will be a key piece of Arrival's product launch and the transition to zero emission electric vehicles. Arrival's HVBM facility will service the company's micro factories in Rock Hill, South Carolina and Charlotte, North Carolina producing electric buses and vans respectively. Now as of the 6th of December this year, Arrival has been on a mission to make air clean by replacing all vehicles with affordable electric solution produced by local micro factories. Announced today that it's establishing a high voltage battery module HVBM assembly plant on Charlotte's west side, adding 150 jobs and investing approximately 11.5 million. This will be Arrival's third facility in Charlotte, including its North American headquarters in South End and its van micro factory also on the west side. Now Arrival assembles its own proprietary battery modules that can be used in all its platforms, enabling the customers to configure their battery requirements according to their specific needs. The in-house design fits within Arrival's plug and play hardware and software architecture that allows for scalability, upgradability and ease of repair and maintenances. Arrival's priority software runs across all of its in-house components, diagnosing potential issues and optimizing the customer's experience, improving the total cost of operations operators are able to replace just one module instead of a whole pack, saving both cost and downtime. Now on the other hand, the modules manufactured in Charlotte will be used in the arrival buses and vans being produced by nearby micro factories. So earlier this week, arrival also announced a collaboration with Lycycle a leading lithium iron battery recycler in North America to create a close loop EV battery supply chain in the US and in Europe. Arrival believes its vehicles will be truly sustainable and this local HVBM facility will be a key piece of Arrival's broader sustainability strategy. Being situated locally and creating easily upgradable components that can prolong the life of the vehicle. The wider strategy also includes a zero waste production goal and it uses a recycled composite materials for the vehicle body that are more durable than steel and they don't require painting. Now by bringing the assembly of their priority high voltage battery modular in-house, they're striving to be vertically integrated as possible. This enables them to be even greater control over the facility functionality and cost of the products and pass those cost savings on to customers while also working towards their zero goal of waste production. This was quoted by Mike Aberson, CEO of Arrival Automotive. He also stated that they are extremely excited to add another facility in Charlotte as they prepare to open a new North American headquarter building just down the road and continue to work in tandem with the city to develop solutions for their electrification and sustainability goals. This is a big milestone for Rival as they ramp up operation in regions in advance of production starting in Rock Hill in Q2 next year in 2022. Now as for North Carolina, it's a leading way in developing and securing clean energy future and they're excited that Arrival Automotive is expanding its electrical vehicle operation in Charlotte, said the governor, Roy Cooper. Their high quality workforce and booming clean energy industry will help the company reach the goal of making electric vehicles affordable and accessible for everyone. Now Arrival continues to work with the city of Charlotte on achieving this goal that was set out in its strategic energy action plan 
SEAP that outlines strategies for clean energy focus on transportation, energy generation, and equitable workforce development. Arrival believes its transformative approach can provide cities with solutions they need to create sustainable urban environment and exceptional experience for their citizens. Arrival's mission aligns with the City of Charlotte goals to improve sustainability efforts and to reduce greenhouse emissions in June 2018. The city's passed a sustainable and, and resilient Charlotte by 2050 solution, which set aggressive and aspirational community-wide greenhouse gas emissions product reduction goals by the City of Charlotte. It strives to have the city fleet and facilities to be 100% fueled by zero carbon source by 2030. Now, an additional information, North Carolina Department of Commerce Secretary Michelle Baker Sanders congratulates Arrival on its latest expansion as it will be increased the commitment for more than 500 new jobs and 55 million of capital investment. The company's passion for clean energy future aligns with the new energy goals and it helps fuel the innovation economy. So as for Arrival contribution, and trust in their skilled workforce, which will continue to prioritize through North Carolina's first in-talent plan. And in additional news, Michael Teden, Honorary British Consul for the state of North Carolina, we're thrilled to witness a UK-based company locate their US headquarter in this region and continue their growth in Charlotte. Arrival Automotive is fully revolutionary and seeks to transform the electric vehicle manufacturing process through their cutting edge innovation coupled with their all important vision of sustainability. So of course this is brilliant for Rival and it's brilliant for North Carolina and the city of Charlotte. Now the city of Charlotte provides service to more than 850,000 residents. The city's priorities are workforces and business development, transportation, planning and the environment, safe communities and great neighborhoods. Now in additional news, there are some exciting news in the Arrival space. Arrival has released new detailed plans and a prototype for the partnership EV car that is built in purpose within a partnership with Uber. By 2025, every Uber in London will be electric. We have designed the arrival car so every driver can make the switch. And this is actually really exciting because I'm currently in the process of working on a video on the arrival car and it's gonna be quite exciting. Now with this vehicle development of around six months, it was actually really fascinating to see how quickly they were able to build a prototype. But most importantly is that they had a lot of input from the drivers, from Uber drivers. This is a partnership with Uber and Uber drivers were given arrival detail information on what they think is important for carrying passengers around in a taxi. So this vehicle is built to carry people around for various reasons in various ways. So this is actually perhaps Arrival's most exciting project because of the level of development that's been brought to this project, but the partnership behind this project, it's, it's gonna be extremely successful for Arrival. And to see what they've accomplished in a short period of time, I cannot wait to see just how much they continue to evolve this vehicle, the additional partnerships they will have due to these vehicles that they're currently developing using their micro factories and obviously their technology, their in-house technology. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. If I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. And like I've said, I will be working on a video of the arrival electric vehicle, the arrival electric car that is. So that's going to be really interesting. So subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video.